Hi class, hello kids, how are you? I'm super fine, I'm really happy to start with this new week and I hope you are ready to start with it too. Today we're going to start as always by doing a review about the activities that we did the last week. And last week we were doing activities about reviews from products and we've been learning about uh, objects, devices, gifts that you can buy for giving another person like um, also we did the students book page 48 and we did this activity and um, yes like this activity was like a stickers activity that we have every unit and you needed to place these stickers in here and fill in the blanks by using the words from the vocabulary remember these are products that you can buy they were telling like their opinion um, like rating the products okay if they are good enough to buy them etc so if you haven't sent me this activity from the last friday or if you haven't sent some activities from the last week you are just on time and you should send it to me okay so and these activities are going to help you uh, for your grades so try to send these activities on time and everything is going to be fine now we are going to learn and practice um, vocabulary and things we need to start really fast because today we are going to to learn about some topics and we have a lot to do today uh, first of all we are going to practice and refresh the memory and remember the comparative and superlative adjectives as you know adjectives are used to describe people places objects animals etc you can use an adjective to describe everything that everything that you want to okay but um, also you can use comparative adjectives also superlative adjectives what does it mean it means that uh, okay we use comparatives when you want to compare one object with another object uh, one dog with another dog uh, for example i want to compare it's just an example okay it's solo un ejemplo i want to compare isabella and alexa i want to compare este um, rodrigo with hugo and so on okay we have one person with another person okay and the superlative will be i want to compare carlos with the rest of the class or i want to compare barbara with the rest of the class okay um, la diferencia es que en el superlativo estamos comparando a una persona con un grupo o más o más personas dos o más personas les digo pueden ser animales personas objetos etcétera no necesariamente siempre vamos a hablar de comparar personas so in this unit we are going to see this difference we just um, learned this topic in the last unit uh, so in this unit we are going to compare not people we are going to compare like the products that we are uh, learning in this unit let's check okay so now shall we review about this let's see so we have some rules to make these adjectives into comparatives or superlatives first of all you need to check if this adjective you are going to turn this into a comparative or a superlative also we have some other rules like most of the adjectives are formed or are made by only one syllable like short old large hot and big when you have uh, a comparative an adjective from one syllable you are going to add if it's a comparative er or if it's a superlative you are going to add the and st at the end the shortest the oldest the largest the hardest the biggest or in the comparative shorter older larger harder bigger okay what happens when you have an adjective from two syllables or more like modern boring beautiful amazing dangerous etc you would say more modern more boring 
more beautiful in two comparative. What happens if it's a superlative? Okay, you are going to say the most modern, the most boring, the most beautiful. And what happens if these adjectives end with why like happy, easy, scary? You are going to drop that why and change it into happier, easier, scarier, the happiest if it's superlative, the easiest, the scariest. Okay, now you know that sometimes and most of the times, most of the cases, in English we have irregulars. Like the regulars mean that these rules, they don't care about the rules, right? So good or bad as adjectives would be comparative, better. Superlative, the best. Or bad, comparative, worse. Or superlative, the worst. Now, I have some examples in here. I am short by my, but my mom is shorter than me. London is bigger than Oslo. The game is easier than this game is easier than tennis, okay? También es importante que recuerdes que tenemos que poner than. Bigger than, shorter than, easier than. Es más fácil, es más grande que, es más bajo que. My mother is younger than my father. Es más joven que. And the superlatives are Uh, Russia is the largest country in the world. This is the most boring film ever. Nigeria is the dirtiest country in the world. He is the best student in our class. Okay, um, you should have copied this on your notebook. Debieron haber copiado esto en sus libretas cuando lo vimos en la unidad anterior. But if you didn't copy, it's your time to copy or you can copy the exercises at least, the examples at least. Puedes copiar los ejemplos eh, al menos. Ok, so now let's check as, as. Ok, as plus adjective as. Ok, we use as, as to talk about equality. Like, uh, for example, I would say my sister... Michelle is as old as my sister Marta. Esto quiere decir que ambas son de la misma edad. Ella es tan grande como mi otra hermana. They are twins, right? <laughs> okay, so as as comparison and with adjectives. I am as busy as Michael. You are as busy as Michael. Okay, this is just an example. You can use not, no vamos a enfocarnos tanto en not, esto sería si estuviésemos hablando de negaciones, pero por lo pronto no lo vamos a ver, solo vamos a ver um, as, as in a positive sentence. Ok, so the only thing that you should know is that you are going to write as, as, be, eh, and the adjective needs to be in between, el adjetivo tiene que ir en medio de as, as, ok? As busy as, as dangerous as, as cheap as, ok? Eh, puede ser cualquier adjetivo ahí en medio de as, as. Ok, so I have some examples for you. Girls are as intelligent as boys. Yes? Ok, the bucket of roses is as expensive as a purse. Ok, the next one says card. Cards as, as common as letters. Ok, this means that neither cards, neither letters are more expensive than the other. Esto quiere decir que ninguna es más cara que la otra. Quiere decir que si ambas son caras, son caras por igual, o sea que cuestan lo mismo. Or girls are as intelligent as boys. It's, it means that Boys aren't as intelligent as the girls. They are as intelligent at the same time. Son muy inteligentes eh, de igual manera, ¿ok? It means like equality and comparison. Ok, as as is used to talk about comparison, but it means like something like a balance. Like, for example, I mean, um, 
Eh, ok, bouquet of roses is as expensive as a purse. It means that they have the same price, que tienen el mismo precio. Son el, las rosas son tan caras como la bolsa, cuestan lo mismo, ok? Now, and two are enough. Ok, es importante que vayan copiando esto en sus cuadernos. Si ya tenían esto, copien el ejemplo, pongan el título. Tómense su tiempo copiando porque sí es muy importante que tengan esto para que luego puedan estudiar y dar una revisada si lo necesitan para las siguientes actividades que estaremos haciendo, ¿ok? Eh, bueno, debemos copiar esto también y ahora vamos a ver two or enough. Don't worry if I'm going too fast or, well, maybe, tell me teacher I didn't understand. But the next classes, the next week and the rest of this week, we are going to be practicing about this. Vamos a seguir practicando esto. Este, así que no se preocupen, no es la única vez que los vamos a ver de estos temas. Okay, first of all, we are going to focus on two. We use two to mean more than sufficient or more less than necessary. Y lo usamos to plus adjective, lo usamos eh, to más un adjetivo example it's too late to stop him or another one says Jerry was too young to watch the movie ok es como decir demasiado ok ok, that's it we are going to focus only on these ones enough, we use enough To mean sufficient. Es como decir suficiente, ¿ok? Plus, adjective plus enough. Your clothes are big enough to fit me. ¿Ok? We are just focusing on adjectives. Eh, solo nos estamos enfocando en los adjetivos, por eso no vamos a revisar los que están abajo. It's super important that you copy this from we use this and also this in your notebook and also the examples your clothes are big enough to fit me hasta aquí ok hasta ahí vamos a ver ahora vamos a enfocarnos en los adjetivos and yes so that's it um, it's important that you remember this meaning like for example and uh, we're going to do an activity later about uh, in you need to complete by using two or enough But it's important that you pay attention to this. Okay, listen. When you have two, the adjectives, the adjective is going to be next to it. Cuando usamos tú, va a ir primero tú y luego el adjetivo. Cuando usemos enough, va a ir el adjetivo primero y luego la palabra enough. De esto sí tienes que prestar mucha atención. In the exercise that I'm going to give you, you need to check If the word to, if the adjective is first or the blank, si en, el, en el ejercicio que les voy a dejar más tarde, tienen que prestar atención si está primero el espacio donde van a llenar ustedes o está primero el adjetivo. Esto sí, por eso es muy importante que lo tengan en la libreta. Don't worry, the next classes we are going to keep practicing this, but I don't want you to get confused with the rest of the information. Now, activities, students book, page Uh, 49 and it says I will learn to use comparative and superlative to make comparisons I will learn to use to and enough the first activity that you have in here you need to pay attention to this because we are going to uh, to use them as examples like it says the blue shoes are expensive okay it means that the red shoes are more expensive than the blue shoes ok, we are using like um, we are using a comparative because we are comparing the blue shoes with the red shoes and that's it then we have the black shoes are the most expensive of all ok, we are comparing the black shoes with all the shoes of all the colors that we have so that's the reason why we are using a superlative and you need to pay attention to this example too then activity 10 says complete the sentences use the adjectives in parentheses and more than or the most okay 
the craft fair looks more interesting than or the most interesting the car store ok aquí vamos a elegir si usamos more than or the most y a, a, usando los adjetivos que nos están dando between paréntesis ok aquí donde tenemos more puntito puntito dan quiere decir que el adjetivo que te dan entre paréntesis lo vas a poner entre esas dos palabras more si fuera es un ejemplo no estoy diciendo que esa es la respuesta who knows quién sabe more interesting than or more expensive than ok por ejemplo así sería so when you finish this you can go to activity 11 it says look at them use as as recuerda que igual significa que eh, entre as as donde están los puntitos vamos a poner eh, los adjetivos y vamos a usar estos que ya tenemos acá arriba the car store doesn't look as interesting as, in, as expensive as popular as the craft fair depende and so on now uh, the last activity says uh, the price of those sneakers is too high those jeans are too baggy the price isn't low enough the jeans aren't tight enough okay it's a lot but you need to do this okay we need to hurry up and finish this so make sentences in your notebook use two or enough and work from each box okay so it means that if you are going to use a word from each box it means that you are going to use video game jacket bike phone comfortable expensive interesting and all uh, so you are going to write four sentences aquí te están dando nouns eh, objetos video game jacket bike phone and you are going to use them to make uh, sentences using to uh, or enough with the uh, adjectives in here estos son los eh, sustantivos que van a usar y estos son los adjetivos comfortable expensive exciting and old ok y vamos a escribir oraciones for example i wrote this video game is not exciting enough or this jacket is too enough is too old enough etc so we have one more activity for the notebook copy on your notebook and complete using too or enough tell Sharon to hurry up she isn't fast blank the price of those boots is blank high I can't afford them number three the jeans aren't tight blank I like skinny jeans Four, uh, some people say flying is blank dangerous. Five, this box is blank heavy. I can take it myself. Okay, so it means that we are going to remember and pay attention to the activities to this. Remember, si tienes primero el espacio, la rayita y luego el adjetivo, quiere decir que vamos a usar two. Y si tienes primero el adjetivo y luego la rayita, vas a usar enough. Uh, remember, send a picture of these pages to me, the notebook activity and also the activities that we had in the student's book. I think this was, it looks like a lot, but it is not. Take your time by doing your activities. If you can send it today, well, send it tomorrow. And if you have questions about any topics, about the activities, send them to me and I'll help you with all my heart. And thanks for being here today. I'll see you the next time. Have a nice day. Goodbye.